Hello everyone. My name is Steve Hughes. I am currently living with ALS. In May of 2023, I created an ALS story update. This is my ALS story 2024 update. It is now June of 2024. This past year, or 12 months or so, I would like to refer to as my year of YouTube. In that period of time, I've learned to use OBS Studio pretty good, ClipChamp from Microsoft, and various other tools to help me create videos on YouTube. I started with my May 2023 story. Then I did some working with the ALS videos. Those were about voice access. Then in September, of last year, I did some Fabric 5 videos. I started this video series at the time because I was passionate about talking about technology and I was struggling to breathe and keep, uh, and keep up with a video longer than five minutes, so it worked well. Since then, I've also started creating shorts which don't require me to talk at all. Those videos really focus on my life with ALS, and I will have a number of them linked below that relate to the story I'm about to tell. So just pay attention in the story as we go through the past few months, and I'll talk about some shorts that are links to videos specifically called out That'll be down below. Let's kick it off with a video I still haven't created, which is really about the trip my wife and I took to Disney. I will do a number of shorts likely in the next few months around that trip, even though it was over a year ago. That trip, we learned how to do a lot of accessibility things. I even got to ride Tron, which was awesome. They had to help me into a special car, passing me in, and we, they were very patient. Disney teams were really well prepared to handle folks like myself with a disability who could barely stand or barely walk a few steps and who had no arm usage at all. We did a number of other rides that I was able to do in the wheelchair, like It's a Small World and Jungle Cruise and Figment. I also was able to do Soaring, which I was looking forward to. Sheila and I went to Disney to celebrate our 30th anniversary and my 51st birthday. It was a really great time, made even better by all the people who helped us out. Shortly thereafter, I actually went to have my feeding tube installed. And I had surgery a couple of times as there were issues with my feeding tube. I had a hospital stay of over five days, which is a problem. ALS does not take kindly to having traumatic events like that happen. During that stay, I lost a lot of log leg functionality as well, which then meant I was going to be more and more bound to a wheelchair at the time. We only had a go chair, which was a smaller wheelchair than what I use today. After we got that, 
being to be one more trip we were planning in August to go to Minnesota and see some friends, but that had to be postponed. As at the airport, the Delta team pulled my feeding tube out, and we had to go to the ER via an ambulance to have it replaced. After which I was so exhausted, there was really no good way to get back to the airplane. With that, sadness was highlighted by the next event, which was the August ALS walk in Lexington. We raised over $7,000 for that walk. Had a huge team of friends and family show up. It was a great time. I got to talk a little bit during that event. Check out the video below about that and information about the 2024 work. But it was a really good time. And a good chance to support an organization which has helped me so much. By September, we had actually finished the elevator in our tech and the sidewalk out to my fire pit. Both of those have videos below as well. Thank you to the team from church that did both that work. In particular, Brian and Cameron, who did a lot of the work or led the work, truly appreciated the sacrifice they made cave to us to be able to do that. October lends itself to a very fun month. We were able to go to Minnesota and see some friends. We drove up there with our new accessibility van, accessible van, sorry. And that was a good trip. Did some time with friends that we hadn't seen in a while. But even better than that, we got to go down to Iowa. And I got to walk Christina down the aisle, my oldest daughter. And she got married to Kyle. And it was really great for me to be able to participate in that. It really does prove that even though I'm in a wheelchair, it doesn't stop me from participating in life events, which is great. I got my new power chair in December, which was awesome. The one I've been borrowing at that point had a I had a chin control on it, so I was driving myself around my chin. That's what we took up to Minnesota, Iowa. But with a mask and using the mask more and more, I wasn't going to be able to drive the mask without on it. So we got the new paratrooper, which is really cool. I got red trim on it, which is fun. But more importantly, it came with a foot pedal. And I love it because I'm able to drive my foot because my legs still have functionality. Even though I can't really walk or stand, I can still drive. With my foot, I can use that same pedal as a mouse, which allows me to actually move the mouse and support some buttons and actually click on things. So that's pretty cool. As we get into the new year, I actually uh, actually have to talk about my company a little bit here. In March, I went on short-term leave. Prior to that, in November, 3Cloud awarded me the Spirit of 3Cloud, which was really cool because I was unable to go down to that event in the office in Tampa. But they dialed me into the meeting and presented the award to me virtually and then sent me a cool award. I'm truly thankful for the time at 3Cloud. Because like I said, it more like when I short-term leave, which meant I was really no longer working. As I had three months of short-term leave before long-term. 
I appreciate all they have done for me. They have supported me through this entire experience and through the degradation. I look to the music and the music kept progressing at worse. Once I made it to short term leave, and ironically, I was awarded the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional Award or Microsoft MVP Award the first week of March. This real award was directly related to the work I was doing with the Fabric 5 videos. Check out the video of me unboxing the award below. But I really, really like the fact that Microsoft saw fit to award me this. And I really appreciate the award as I've been doing a lot of community work for the years, and it was nice to be recognized. I also, the next month, spoke with a mascot at Derby City Day to Days in Louisville, Kentucky. I did this by using some of the Fabric 5 videos, and with support from Sheila and Christina. I was able to do Q and A live while I was using the recording for the other part of the session. It went really well. I was very glad that the they supported me in this process. As we get closer to May, I had a couple visits to the ER, one in another ambulance ride. That resulted in me getting a catheter to support some issues I'm having with my bladder and prostate. This is one of the things that sometimes it's not always about the ALS, but just as much about the fact that it affects other things as well. But I don't want to wrap up with that. I want to wrap up with our trip to Virginia, where we took with the family. At the end of May, was awesome. Look for a number of videos I created around that trip, but we had a great time in Williamsburg. I got to play some games with the kids and had great food made by them. It was an awesome time. I loved it. I was really glad we were able to go. Now, in true Minnesota fashion, even though I live in Kentucky, here's my Minnesota goodbye. For now, I really have to say thank you to Sheila. She continues to handle my day-to-day -day care. And the constant change we have with everything we get used to, always changing again. Along the way, we have been hospital visits. We've laughed, we cried. But through it all, she's been right there by my side. We recently celebrated 31 years since Elson remarried such a great person. I also do a special thanks to Alex, my older son. She has learned how to handle my day to day care so that Sheila can take a break. Because she's part of the It Takes a Village mantra. For example, my mother does my pedicures. She comes in and takes care of my toenails and massages my feet and just cleans it up really nice. My mother-in-law provides a regular meal to us. Alex and Kyle, who both live in the area, take turns spending the evenings with me so my wife can go to her Bible study without worry. My sister and her boyfriend come down to do work for us, like putting my new ramp in. 
as well as my other kids, everybody else who comes and participates. I've been them in so many ways. I'm also thankful for the people at church who come and help. Because we need everybody to chip in a little bit to make the burden a little less. I don't know what the next year will bring. I look forward to the next update. But you can look forward to seeing number short for me. And more technical videos. As I continue to get back as much and as often as I am able over the next few, few months and years. This one starts my long term disability journey. But just because I'm disabled does not mean that I am dead. I thank God for what he's given me the ability to do. All the support he's given me. And my last word for everyone is remember. God has a plan. His plan for me is living with ALS. And to get back where I'm able to. I may not know what everybody does, but I really hope that you find God's plan for you and you trust him in all of it. If you made it this far, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you all.